Hey guys, I'm going to cover all the Spotify features on the Garmin Fenix 6 Pro in this video. If you need help setting up the Spotify app on the watch, connecting to Wi-Fi and pairing with your headset, I have another video covering all that. I will link it at the end so you can watch it after this one. The requirement to use Spotify is that you need a watch which supports Spotify. I'll leave down in the description a link uh, to my web page with a full list of all the Garmin watches uh, and you do need a Spotify premium. So what you can do with the watch is you can download music from Spotify to the watch and listen to it offline without your phone and you can also easily download the updates from Spotify if you modify a playlist. So the easiest way to access the music features is by holding down the down button and then you can press on the menu key and access the library. So here you can see that I already have a sync one playlist and one podcast with the device. So I can select the playlist here and it started playing already. I can pause it from here and start playing again. On the down button I have it possible to skip tracks and on the menu key I have access to the library where we just were. Then we have a volume setting for going up and down with the volume. Then we have a previous track and we have repeat one, repeat off, repeat all. Then we have shuffle on and off. So this will mix the order of the tracks. So you do also have the possibility to control your music via the headset. So if your headset has play and pause functionality that can be used on the headset, which I, I just controlled while there. You can also, in many headsets, you can skip tracks and uh, call the previous tracks. You can also control the volume up and down. I'm using these uh, Chapra uh, Elite 75. They work perfectly. We'll also leave a link to my video. So next, going back to the library, we have the option of add music and podcast. So in here we can access the playlists. It's also the playlists which you have on the Spotify app. So most likely if you use uh, Spotify already, you would have multiple playlists there or then just go ahead and create a playlist made for you. You can access some playlists from here. Daily mix one, two. There are some pre-created workouts on run. So it seems to get a list of workout playlists created by somebody else. You can go to podcasts and, and here you can access all the podcasts which um, I have listened to on Spotify. You kind of need to go on the Spotify app on your phone first and, and uh, choose which spot podcasts you want to subscribe to and then you can uh, download them here. So then there is the option of update download. this connects to Spotify or the Wi-Fi connection and it goes ahead and updates the playlists which I have and the podcasts which I have selected to download. So these two in my case. So if I go ahead and add a track on the phone, this uh, playlist for Garmin, uh, then that update functionality would download the new tracks to my watch. Uh, edit downloads. Here you could remove something which you don't want to have on the watch anymore. View settings, there's pretty much nothing else than log out from Spotify and then you have about which shows the version of the of the Spotify app on the watch. What you can't do with the Garmin uh, Spotify app is you can't stream music over the Wi-Fi connection and you can't either stream wire via an LTE connection because, well, the device doesn't have an LTE connection. If you got value out of this video, please consider subscribing. It greatly supports the channel and you will also get the notifications for the next helpful hints on Garmin watches, which I post. And here is the link to the setup video, which I promised.